Rifa Palooza 2019 is in the books. Woo! Rifa Palooza 2019 in Orlando was absolutely off the hook. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it, and I'm gonna tell you why you need to go to the next Coral Conference, Aquarium Conference in your area. Oh, and I'm gonna give you some tips on what you need to know before you make that journey. Stay tuned. What's up guys, it's Cody Grates with Real Reefing TV, helping you save time, money, and frustration in the real reefing hobby, sharing my experiences and knowledge. And if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. There's new videos coming out on a weekly basis that help you save that time, money, and frustration. Yes, the 10 gallon behind me is asleep right now, and so is the 300 gallon reef tank out in the living room. It's late, it's a Sunday night. I'm doing this video for you guys so I can get it out to you tomorrow on Monday. This weekend was Reefa Palooza Orlando 2019. And if you don't know anything about Reefa Palooza, it is a very large show in North America and they have different cities that they travel around to. So there's Orlando, I think there's San Francisco and New York, and I think there's like another one. It's it's all over the place and they do a lot of battery. Gotta change the battery. All right, with the battery swapped out, we can resume. So Reefa Palooza or any coral conference that you may have around you is going to have a few things. One, it's going to have some straight fire for corals. Um, you're going to see tons of different corals, anemones, um, even fish there. Um, and then you're going to have tons of vendors anywhere from like Sea Kim, Abyss, you're going to have uh, Fritz and, and Aqua Forest and Red Sea and Aqua Illumination and just tons of different coral and, and aquarium equipment manufacturers there. And they're going to be there just promoting their product and giving you more information on you know what's coming down the pike maybe something new that they've released that they haven't even said anything about and they're releasing it at the show those types of things are awesome to be able to see firsthand and ask questions to the manufacturers themselves about the product and you can understand it a little bit better another reason why you might want to go is you might want to see you know who's there who's going I know at Reefa Palooza, I saw Rico's. Shout out to Rico's Aquariums. He's a real dude. He's awesome. I'm going to put a link in uh, for his channel down in the description below. Uh, Mark Callahan from Mr. Saltwater Tank. I'll put his show, um, his uh, link down below as well. And he's also doing videos now for saltwateraquarium.com. So I'll link their channel down below as well. I want to just spread the love because. I mean, you're going to just see tons of people there. Get your picture taken with them. And and I tell you what, it was it was a pleasure meeting some of you guys. It was awesome meeting you. Um, so thanks for, if you stopped me and said, you know, and said, hey, I appreciate it. And my love goes out to each and every one of y'all. So now we're going to talk about what are some tips, what are some things that you need to know to help you save time, to help you save money, and then also while you're there, get the most out of it. So it's all about in the planning of things. So what I want you to think about, if you're gonna go there for coral, which is a big driver of why people wanna go to, um, go to these aquarium conferences and coral conferences, is, is to get some coral. And there's gonna be a ton of vendors there. There was like Worldwide Corals, Top Chef Aquatics, Gator Corals, um, Josh Pork Sandwich, there was just a ton of coral vendors, like people that you may, maybe haven't even seen before or heard about because they're kind of somewhat local, but not local to you. And so they may have gone to the show and they have a lot of great corals and even fish. But what I want you to be thinking about when you look at your tank, what colors do you need to help accent your tank? Right? So if you have a ton of green or a ton of red, maybe you look for some yellows and some oranges that you can kind of place here and there. If you have a ton of tabling stuff and you need something that's going to reach out, maybe you get some stags or um, you know, just things like that that are really going to reach up and, uh, and branch out. 
or if you're leading to soft corals and you could just see you could find something banging. I, there was a guy that I met who wanted to uh, to get more flower or rock anemones and so that was what he was going there for so have a plan in mind of what you're looking for when you go there it'll just help you be more efficient when you're looking through all of the coral tanks now another thing you should do is also just bring cash you know limit yourself on how much you can spend kind of budget it out you know i said i wanted to spend about 150 so when i got cash out i mean it only gave it out in 20 so i you know i had to go 160 and um and then kind of stick to that as best you can now of course you know i saw something that was a bit above like that last coral put me above it and uh so i had to use the card for like the last 25 dollars of the purchase but that was it then i cut it and that was it so i think i did pretty good on keeping my spending to a minimum um you know as, as much as i possibly could i mean there was just so much eye candy in there it was just amazing to see now when you get your coral you also want to make sure that you had brought a cooler coolers are really important to be you know to keep the temperature stable in those bags and you know when you have when they give you the coral in the bag you want to make sure that you keep that temperature as stable as possible because we stayed in a hotel overnight and then drove back from Orlando to Tampa area ish it, that's a, that's like a two-hour drive plus we stayed overnight so it was a almost 24 hours that those corals were sitting in the bags so really important that you keep the temperature stable so a cooler will help you do that the corals will be fine for 24 hours I mean think about it they ship them from like Bali over here to the US and and then they ship them to your house so um, so they can be in a bag for 24 hours it's uh, it's not the end of the world they'll be fine now speaking of staying in hotels if that is in the game plan for you because maybe the place is too you know a little bit too far away or you want to make a little vacation out of it like we did then figure out if you want to stay in the place that they're having the conference at at the hotel that they're having the conference at they will typically run a special prior to the show so if you book those uh, nights ahead of time you can usually get a discounted rate now if you stay off-site and you stay at a hotel that's just nearby that's what we did we saved a little bit more money because we didn't have to pay a resort fee nor did we have to pay a parking fee and there was complimentary breakfast at the place that we stayed at a hot breakfast so I think that that extra you know probably 20 bucks for breakfast 20 bucks for parking and 20 bucks for a resort fee you know save me 60 bucks that money goes towards corals now speaking of making sure that as much money goes towards corals as possible try not to bet too much money there's raffles at these things like they had a reef palooza over 110 raffle prizes so tons of raffles but if you spent $20 on a sheet of raffle tickets and you didn't win anything, you just lost 20 bucks. Whereas you could have taken that $20, bought a coral, and then you actually had something to show for it. So try not to waste your money and, uh, and buy those raffle tickets, even though they are really enticing. Now when you go, go early because typically they will have like little goodie bags for the first however many people at reef of palooza it was the first 500 people they got in line and walked through the doors at the beginning they got a goodie bag now this goodie bag was stuffed with with awesome things your price of your ticket was 20 bucks and i think what was in the bag definitely worth the 20 bucks not only the fact that you get the bag itself which is really important because all the vendors around not all of them but some of the vendors around um, have free samples of things and if you're just kind of like ah, you know holding on to them what are you gonna do but if you have a little bag and you shove them in the bag and you keep on trucking yeah like buttons and stickers and you got um, food samples and the guys at Tropic Marin gave them gave me some really awesome uh, two part but it's not two part it's one part it's like calcium and alkalinity in one solution plus trace elements and it all goes and it's just a it's a small you know kind of it's not it's not necessarily a sample size but it's a small size bottle that would be awesome for this 10 gallon tank when I get a rockin' with some with some SPS which by the way there is one there's one frag of uh, some orange Satosa that's in there and it's it's doing all right okay now one last thing about corals one of the greatest things about being at the conference when you're buying corals is that you get to bargain you get to like wheel and deal it's like it's like a, like a yard sale almost, you know? They're like, well, what if I get, can I get, okay, so that's 20, that's 30, and that's 20. Can I get all three of them for 50 bucks? 
And the guy's like, yeah, absolutely. Boom, done. You just saved 10 bucks. You got three corals for, for 50. You reduce the price of everything and you're rocking and rolling. You got some awesome fire that you can bring back to your tank. And it's in the colors that you were looking for to accent your tank specifically. So one, you're more efficient. Two, you're saving money. I mean, what more could you possibly ask for? More coral, I guess. <laughs> so Reef of Palooza was an awesome show. We've been going there for the last five years and, um, and it just gets bigger and bigger and better every single year. It doesn't disappoint. And it's just really awesome to connect with everybody and buy some corals. Now there is an educational aspect to Reef of Palooza as well in most coral shows or aquarium conferences or I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Because typically they will bring in speakers to educate on different topics. For instance, they had uh, Julian Sprung, that's, that's a big name in the hobby. He's the uh, founder of Two Little Fishies. They had uh, Colin Ford, who's been reefing since he was like in middle school. Um, he's a marine biologist. They had uh, Tim Havlicek, if I'm saying this right, I'm, I'm sorry if I'm not. It's like Tim Havlicek, but it's basically, you know, Dr. Tim's. That's him, that's the guy. He's also a marine biologist and um, and knows a ton about keeping corals and fish. And so he was there and they also had another guy. I'm gonna put his face up here. But the educational aspect of it as well and learning from other people, um, it's just definitely worth going. If you have one coming around you soon, uh, I know that uh, Macna is gonna be in Orlando as well this year, so I'm really excited to go to that. And, um, and I know that Rafa Palooza travels all around and there's some other aquarium conferences that are maybe less large, but still very valuable. Try to find them in your local area. And you know what guys, let me know what was the last aquarium conference that you went to down in the comments. And you can check out another video right over here and hit that subscribe button right here. It's been real y'all. Peace out. Later.